As Elvis the King said, I'm caught in a trap and I can't get out. I am stuck in a sticky situation and I need your help out of it. I don't know what I'm doing with my lighting situation here, but you are going to help me decide next. Well, hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at something very interesting. That is my lighting setup. Now for the longest time I have been using these light strips from Home Depot. I've actually showed those to you in my displays for dummies, volume one and two. Feel free to check those out in the description below if you've not done so already. But I have reached a conundrum. I have reached an issue that I need to get addressed and that is the yellowing of my lights. I want uniformity in my displays and we're gonna talk about that in just a second. But for everyone out there that has not yet subscribed, go ahead and do so because as you know, we are on a quest for 2,021 subscribers. Last time with our last updated video when we did our little bit of a vlog and kind of showing you how to find things on Sideshow Retailers, didn't really get as many follows on that one as I was hoping. Not as many subscribers that we were hoping for. Got a lot of engagement, so thank you for that. So what you can do for me right now is go ahead and give me a presumptive like on this video and then go ahead if you've not done so already and subscribe to the channel. I would certainly appreciate it. Now, let's get into the meat of everything that we're talking about here today, that being my lighting setup. I went ahead and scoured the internet and found something on Amazon that I'm willing to give a try and I'm going to show you it in real time. I'm going to let you help me decide on what to do. Because as of right now, I believe I have 16 or 17 DTOFs. I actually need to go back and count them. But you do the math on that, and that's a lot of wires, that's a lot of lights. So I'm not going to do them all until I am 100% sure that that is what I want to do. So I found these new strip lights. It is by C. Frank. This is them right there. They come in a nice little six pack. And obviously with Detoffs, you have four shells. So I need to figure out what I'm going to do with the other two. But here's what I want to find out. Are they bright enough? Are they going to work? Will they actually fit into the Detoffs and actually do a little bit of what I need it to do? And ultimately, are they going to be better than my current setup? So here's why I'm having this conversation. Obviously, I mentioned that they are yellowing and that's a big problem for me. I want a cool white color. That's what I'm going for. That's what I like. Whatever your display is, fine. Whatever you want to have it, make sure it is what you want to have. But for me, I want the cool white. So all that being said, let's get these things open. Let's crack them open. But I need you to help me. I need you to see if this is the route I need to go. So please let me know down in the comments as we go if I'm making the right choice. So all that to say, let's get going. Now this is the Star Wars side of my display, but something that's been driving me up the wall is the yellowing of the lights. Now these are LED strip lights and I got them from Home Depot. These have been here about a year, and if you open these up, I'll kind of show them to you what they are. They're just LED strip lights, and I've done a video, as I've mentioned, about displays for dummies on how to kind of light your display. And you get four of these, and you add them to the different shelves, and try to hide the wires the best you can. But the thing about these is that there is a film of plastic over the LEDs and over time and over heat, those start to yellow and you say, well, I can't really tell. Well, you can see from Krennic right here, it's a much warmer tone and especially down at the bottom, you can tell that it's kind of yellow. Now, if you step back, you can definitely see on the right hand side is definitely a lot whiter, a lot brighter. The ones on the left hand side are a much older and those are obviously yellowing. Either way, you can take a look at it for yourself and uh, I decided I need to do something about this. So I went ahead and jumped on Amazon and that's why we're here today. So I will give you my full review and you tell me if I made the right choice. So let's do a real quick comparison of these two different lights. Right here is the new version and you can see that it's a lot cleaner look. All you have to do to connect them is put the male into the female and that's it. As far as the older versions, they have these little prongs that you have to kind of fidget and fit into the receiver. So that's a little bit difficulty and you have to plug those in on each side. That's just a simple small connection. So not a bad deal at all. This one's a little more challenging. Now this piece has a full 
uh, sticky double-sided tape on the back, so I'm not worried about that ever moving. But these, you get two little pieces that you have to put on manually on each side, and just double-sided tape, you just pull it off and stick it to the top of the glass. So I do worry over time about them possibly being too heavy and falling off, so I do worry about that. So far as plugs, they just go right into your outlets as normal, and they're just powered like that, no USB power. So here's the old version and the new version, and that's the kind of the way they are. Same size, same length, but one is newer and a little bit cleaner. So let's put them in the Detofs and kind of see how it looks. All right, so I got two strips in and two different Detofs. And as you can see, these are a little bit different. Let me open up these. This is the cool white as opposed to the soft white. So that's the color I'm going for. And out of the gate, I think they look good. I need to rewire it and kind of clean it up a bit, but I definitely think they're not bright enough. Um, that's a major issue for me outside of the gate because you want to be able to see your figures and show off everything that you have, show off your collection. And if the lights are not bright enough, that can be a problem. So I'm not 100% sold on them right now. Here is a side-by-side -side of the original on the right. And you can see a definite yellowing and definite warm tone. And there's the new lights, the cool white. So I don't know. You tell me. Do you think it's the same and it's my mind playing tricks on me as far as the brightness? Is that bar blocking some of the light? What do you think? I don't know. Should I keep going with it? Should I wire the other half up? As you can see, there is a difference. So, I don't know. So I went ahead and worked on the full treatment of kind of getting the wire situated to kind of see how it's going to work. And it's not that bad. Um, the only thing I do not like are these receivers and how thick they are. It's a little bit harder to hide as opposed to these. But on the other hand, you have these little pieces kind of flip out, which isn't great, but uh, they are a little bit easier to hide. There are also quite a bit less cable, so that's a plus on these new ones. I think I doubled up a little bit right there, but um, it doesn't look too bad. Once I shut the door, and you can kind of see. Nice little silhouette, follows itself down. It's not too bad on the cable management, so I think that's pretty good. As opposed to this, use a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10. Got quite a few different zip ties on there. So 10 plus zip ties to get the look that I was going for. So that's a lot of cable. So that's something to consider as well. I don't know. I'm 50-50 on the cable management, I suppose. One's not much better than the other. But that is a main issue for me, are those plugins. Not very easy to hide. I like things to be clean and come back. So once again, let me know down in the comments. Am I making too big of a deal about it? As opposed to these. Is it okay that I'm using that many zip ties? Or what would you do? What do you think? One other fun little piece of information I forgot to sell is that because these come in a pack of six, you only need four. So they're all wired together, so you have to kind of make a cut and lose the attachment at the end. So I went ahead and took some wire cutters and cut that down. And um, it doesn't affect the current, doesn't affect the flow of anything like that. But when you get them, you have two extra ones that you need to kind of figure out. And that one's not going to work, so I don't know unless you want to attach it together, but I don't see any benefit to daisy chain them at all because I don't know where you go with them. So that is that, and I will give you my final thoughts next. Well, as you can see, I went for it. I went ahead and wired up the rest of the Star Wars cabinets to kind of give an idea of what they all look like when it's all together. They're kind of growing on me. The wiring is not as bad as I thought they're going to be. The color is exactly what I need it to be. Is it a little bit dimmer than I was hoping? A little bit, but when they're all on, they're not too bad. But now, I need to hear from you. Let me know down in the comments below if this is the right choice. I've not done the Marvel side of my wall. Those are still the original ones. I still got seven, eight different Detofs that I'd have to rewire if I want to go this route. I only want to do half of them. I don't want to have to go through and do them all again. So if that's the case, and if you think I need to go back to the original lights, let me know. If you think this is the key, 
let me know down in the description and the comments below. All that being said, your answers are going to fuel our next video, that being the Collection Room Volume 5. Yes, an update to our Collection Room Volume 5, and you will see officially which lights that we ended up going with. So with that being said, if you've not done so already, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. I would certainly appreciate it. And I will see you in the Collection Room Volume 5 in our next video.